Hello, Daywalker. You might remember me. Then again, you might not. It's been some time. Daywalker, if that's what they're calling you now. It's been, how long has it been? 150 years less, more? I don't know. I appeared this way, so you may recognize me since you've been confined. <laughs> I have to admit, you've probably figured out by now, yes, I had a little something to do with that unfortunate incident. You were getting a little too powerful. A little too big for your britches, so to speak. Something had to be done. I apologize, but you understand. You call yourself a daywalker. You're nothing but a half-breed. A situation of chance. That's all you are. You see, well, you weren't even a gleam in anybody's eye. I was decimating miles and miles of Europe. Years before you were even thought of. So, regarding your message, I had to respond. You insinuated that you're some sort of descendant of Cain. <laughs> That's rich. You flatter yourself. You're nothing but a freak of nature, neither neither one of them nor one of us. So who are you, Daywalker? Well, I'll give you this much. You are powerful. With every offering that is brought to you, your power increases. This is true. But you could never catch me in your wildest dreams. Never. So, I thought I'd send you this message. It's not a real message. Maybe this is just part of your mind? Part of your delusions? Because in reality, unfortunately, my situation does not offer me the ability to speak to you directly. But that time will come. So, you equate yourself on the same plane as Cain, Nosferatu, and others. <laughs> you make me laugh. Well, I will leave you to your mm, solitude. Until we meet again. <laughs> <laughs>